so in the first two videos, I went over shoulder retraction and depression. I went over how to help activate your lats. And in this last video, I'm gonna go over something that gets talked about a lot in back training is grip position. So there's grip position and there's grip width. A lot of the general consensus, I don't know where this started, but is that a wide overhand grip, the wider your grip is, the wider your lats you're gonna get. Now this is false. Actually doing a wide overhand grip, you're just gonna be isolating your, the muscles in your upper back and your rear delts and you're actually gonna get almost no activation out of your lats. And there's never any reason to go excessively wide. People do this with pull-ups a lot, but there's absolutely no reason to do that and there's no benefit from that. If you're going, you can go slightly wider, slightly narrower, but going excessively wide is completely pointless. Using an overhand grip can be beneficial, but not necessarily for working your, your lats. It will be beneficial for working the muscles in your upper back, such as your traps, your rhomboids, your rear delts. And so if you're pulling with your pronated or overhand grip, you're gonna generally be working more of the muscles in your upper back. Now, the next thing is a supinated grip, which is also very common. Now, this is easier on the wrist than a pronated grip and a supinated grip makes it a lot easier to activate the lats because like I talked about in the previous video, externally rotating the bicep helps engage the lats and while you can do that with an overhand or neutral grip by the intent of the way you force your biceps, it, it actually, this with a supinated grip or underhand grip, this kind of naturally externally rotates your biceps so you don't have to think about it as much and it's also easy slightly easier on the wrist than a pronated grip. Now, the last grip would be a neutral grip. And this is personally what I prefer. It's going to be the absolute easiest on your wrists and shoulders, and you get a lot more natural path of movement. The problem with the really narrow vertical like V-bar grips is that when you pull, you can't fully shorten the lats because your grip is too close together but if you have the option of wider handles that are on a neutral grip, that's a great option, especially to take things easier on your wrists and shoulders. But personally, what my favorite grip is, is individual handles that have the ability to rotate. This way, when you come forward, it allows for a lot more natural path of movement, especially to keep healthy shoulders. So when you come forward, you can allow your hands to pronate, which is more the natural path when you send forward and fully lengthen the lats, and then when you retract, press, and when you come back, you can externally rotate your biceps, turn your wrists out slightly to keep your wrists and hands in a more neutral position. That is, that's a lot easier on the shoulders and wrists. So the main point, point here is that if you're trying to activate your lower back or your lats, which are the larger muscles, you're better off with a more neutral or supinated grip. And if you want to work your upper back and your traps and your rhomboids and your rear delts, you're gonna do better with a overhand grip. And there's no reason to ever go excessively wide. This applies both for rows and for vertical pulling movements like a pull down or a pull up. And since I'm talking about grips, there's something that should be covered. You see a lot of people using um, a variety of straps. There's classic um, wrist wrap, which would wrap around the weight. There's um, hooks that strap around your wrist and it's just a hook that goes around the weight. And there's also things like Versa grips, which go around your wrist and it's more of a thicker rubber piece that you can um, easily or more quickly strap around the weight. Now, the issue I have is people that use these the entirety of their workout. I used to do this and Yes, you can move more weight with your back because your forearms will give out before your back does. However, if you rely on those as a crutch for the entirety of your workout, you're never gonna fully develop your forearms. So what I would personally do, I've actually steered away from using them almost at all, except for on my heavy deadlifts. But what I would suggest if you want to utilize some type of assistance for your grip, because your forearms are giving out, I would do as much load and as much work as you possibly can without using the grips, and then towards your last sets, when the weight's getting heavier and you can't quite hold onto it, but you can still do more with your back, 
that would be the time to implement some type of grip or strap that would allow you to move more weight with your back even though your forearms are giving out. Also, you can minimize how much your forearms are involved. Again, by what I said in one of the previous videos, is think of your hands as hooks just to attach yourself to the weight. Don't actually pull the weight with your forearms. You wanna pull the weight with your back. Your arms are just attachments to pretty much hook yourself to that weight. So I hope these video, this series of videos were helpful. Let me know what you guys think, and if you have future training tips that you want me to go through, just let me know.